Hello everyone, welcome back to some more EU4 and um, fighting world wars about, I don't know, a couple hundred years before they should actually be happening. Anyway, we got our second, um, or another coalition war declared on us, we gotta finish this one before um, the Spaniards can join, which is 34. We gotta finish it before 34, however, the next coalition will be 31. Maybe 28, but probably 31. We've got to finish this for 31, and we can white piece them right now. But, you know, want to take just that little bit of land. Paris might be a fun one to grab, but it's not a trade centre. So we're debating really what to take. Maybe Maine, but then everyone gets upset. Uh, so basically, we don't want their truce to line up with the Spanish. Because the moment it lines up with the Spanish, bad things happen. So there's a 34. Yeah, there we go. So it's another truth of Spain until March 34. 36, that gives us two years. See, I don't like that. So we can fight this one a little bit longer, give ourselves a bit more time. Because it is going very well in the east. The eastern front is progressing wonderfully. The western front, British troops land and then get immediately wiped by the leader, Jahad Helbringen. Um, we need to finish our economic ideas so we can get super dev cost 5,000. Um, we are very ahead of time on tech, so we can breach walls very confidently. And yeah, we should be able to force a peace on the coalition Sooner rather than later, and also, this is a punitive war, so we show superiority. So we can, we win by battles, not by siege. So, considering our army is one of the best in Europe, if we have a little look with our war enemies. Best in morale, very high in discipline. We, we can, we can pull this one off. Also, just about to prove what I said with the um, British just landing troops, yeah. They have much less morale, much less discipline, less mill tactics, also battles happening over here as well. Fun times. Um, yeah, look, they reinforce and they, they don't get wiped, but they are going to. Right, that's that one over there done. Add a manpower. We need more manpower. More manpower. Um, um, no, we don't need you. And we'll replace your... Once you've got your siege, we'll replace you. I uh, sent all my soldiers over here because there was battles going on. And we'll go and reinforce this one while we go and wipe all these British troops. Oh, come on. Right. I said we'll wipe all those British troops. We should also beat these Austrian troops. Yet yeah, we did. And I think it's about time to go into Poland. Typical Germans. Um, yeah, we wiped them over here as well. 70% war score, man. That is... Still just not enough. Right, I think a few more battles, a few more sieges should do it. Maintain with Munich. We're not going to call those. March into Warsaw. Go on. Right. Oh, so close. Can we, rather than take them... No, no, no. Definitely not. Um, can we take Maine? I want to finish the state in Anjou. Just, as I said, try and get as big truth as we can get. Right, so we can get about... Yeah, we can get about 8 war score. Can we get anything for 8 war score? Let's have a look. Ooh, Wienerwald. 
that's nine war score. Cannot select any of those. And hmm. No. Ooh. Eh, I don't see any interest in that. I reckon we can keep going for just a little bit longer. Because when is the next truth up? That's 28. It's 31. 31 is when we need to worry. So we can pursue this just that little bit longer. Right, after seeing it is a necessity, I am claiming the title of Defender of the Faith. Mainly because we can convert better but also because it gives us morale bonuses, reduces war exhaustion, but most importantly, plus 20% manpower in true faith provinces, which gives us a maximum of 158,000. Um, we are slowly convincing the British and everyone else to let us take some more provinces off their hands. But what we really want is the cheap ones, because the cheap ones means we get more for less. But the problem is we haven't occupied everything, which is what I'm just about to start doing. I must say, it is very nice for the British to continuously feed me free war score and give me this peace deal. So we're going to take a bit more land, going to get a bit more extension, a bit more aggressive expansion, but you know, no new joins the coalition. Doing good. Minus 625 on Austria. Uh, 326, yeah, we're good. 77, and truth until 41. This is what I should pursue. I should pursue longer truces rather than more rapid truces. Because a longer truce means we have longer pieces. Which means we can last longer in our preparation stages. Because we are not getting absolutism. Because we are at 4 should switch out of all of this, but actually, I can. This, don't bother me. Um, right of Council, gone. And there's still 50 loyalty, which is great. What I really need to do is deal with the burgers, so we're going to get no more... Um, they're going to get no more bonuses, and no more influence, because if they get any more influence, we're going to have a plutocratic coup. And we don't want a plutocratic coup, so we're going to come all back, we're going to get all the troops back, and we're going to prepare for the next coalition to invade, which it will, while we improve relations with Munich. Look at that. Look at those truces. Right. We should be back once the next coalition is ready. It is truth build-up time, and trying to get money and manpower, the two ends of any campaign, really. So, uh, Mamluks, you were a great ally for a, um, a short amount of time, but I'm afraid that's just, yeah, no, that's, um, no thank you. There we go, there we go, the Mamluks, now we've got to look for a new friend. Um, who wants to be my friend? <laughs> Yes, please. So, friendship ended with Mamluks, now Muscovy is my friend. Right, so the coalition has reformed, as the truth has ended. We have a war goal on Trient, uh, as usual. And we can go in. However, yeah, this war screen is bugged, thanks to the uh, extended UI. But. But, 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 but I do kind of want the sh show superiority, you know, win war score from battles kind of war. And so I'm just going to let the coalition form bigger. Because it doesn't worry me. The, you know, the amount of troops in it. Because we can beat them. We can beat them just like we beat the British and the Austrians and the Polish Lithuanians. It's just dependent on our ability to micromanage the armies just that little bit. I'm good, thanks. Um, great. Yeah, coalition's expanding. 
again, it's just Portugal that's hyperinflating the number of troops in there. Because, like, look. Where is it? Portuguese. Yeah, Portuguese down at the bottom. 11,000 from Brazil, 8,000 from Rio de la Plata, Louisiana, Colombia, Peru. There's British because I'm declaring war on the British, but if I had to do it on Burgundy. Again, this is a lot less troops, even more or less. And yeah, it's 65,000 allegedly, but that's not really true. So essentially, what we've got to do is wait for them to declare it again. Do you want to know something? I'm very glad Trient is just not a free city. Because if they were a free city, I would have to fight the Emperor every time as well. Right, same plan as last time. Rush down Portugal. And put our back against the wall. Should work. Same as last time. Also, our combat weeks has increased by two, so I added the two to everyone. Oh hey! Would you look at that? <laughs> We're the Curia controller. I wonder if there's any here that would help. Hmm. Ooh, this is an interesting one. There's no institution. Death cost would be interesting. Um, hmm. I think I'll take the unrest because the A doesn't bother me. Right. Also, this was a 71% siege. That that just outrages me. But anyway, we uh, we've got Ivora going for Lisboa. We're taking down Brittany. Things seem to be going in our favour. They're looking to reinforce this. We can take the next idea. Look at this. Demolition. Cannons, man. Cannons, they just... Look at that. Pause. Cannons, they just do everything. Right. We need to get Treviso. We go past it to Trickman. We got Lisboa. Now we go from Malaga. We own Burgundy or Brittany. So now it is time. We have four troops here. So we make our way up there and trick them again. We go see if we can grab Mets. Yep, don't need to trick them. We'll grab those ones. Come over here and round. See if we can grab the Portuguese troops. And then once we get Malaga again, we take Gibraltar and we run away. Right. This battle is going to be a spicy one because we have no reinforcements nearby. Um, maybe, but I doubt it. We're probably going to have to retreat from this one. Maybe. Not too sure, actually. We are... Just noticed that 2.4, they have 2.0. Mill tactics make combat all the better. I mean... Oh, I thought that was this one. Go on. We're so close. And we just started putting cannons on the front line. Before the reinforcements even needed to show up. That is one hell of a battle. Uh, you guys can now go down there. While we are wiping them down here. Actually, you go down there because you have less soldiers. So you can come over here and start cleaning up shop. Rest in peace, our leader. He was a mill leader, but now we're going to go for a admin leader. Because we are way ahead of time. I... Yeah, an admin leader. The one that I really wanted to click. I'm just, I'm just bad. Just bad at this game. 
Uh, right, you go down there, you come back up here, see if we can take out Burgundy. And, um, yeah, we knocked out Portugal in all essentiality. Just have to carpet siege their home country down. That should be enough. Go. That's that siege. We're sieging somewhere up there. They're going up here. Don't think we need to do that. Siege of Prague. So they've basically taken all of this, which is a fair trade for Western Europe, I should say. Uh, the truce with the second coalition is over, or the third coalition, we're cycling three now, aren't we? So the truth of the third coalition is over, and uh, I'm going to end the episode. So, yeah. Worrisome. Yeah, we'll, we'll do fine. We don't, you know, have an army in Spain. <laughs> oh, well. Ooh, they're fighting my separatists for me. Very nice. I'll see everyone in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.